Hello, Dr. Benigio here. Today we're actually going to learn how to create an orthomosaic by establishing your own plane. Uh, currently here in front of us I have a model of an Incan structure uh, and I'd like to make an orthomosaic of this wall here making sure that it is flat. Um, there's a couple ways that you can do this and one way is by just establishing the perfect view yourself using the little tumbler in the middle and deciding what looks good and then going to workflow, ortho mosaic, make sure it's click to planar, and then go to current view and hit go, right? And hit OK. And it's going to run the ortho mosaic and give you a flat, um, high resolution image of this wall here. It'll actually do the entire whatever's inside of this region, but you can clip it down to be just this wall. And I have another video where I describe how to clip your ortho mosaic. But Oftentimes people are very concerned with the actual angle and tilt of that plane. Uh, they want to make sure that it follows, uh, for instance, this wall and, and the actual angle of the wall itself. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to establish points to create your own plane based on the wall's tilt. So first of all, think of an origin point. Uh, I'll say down here, I'm going to go ahead and right click and I'll double click there and type in one dash origin. So I know that's my origin point. You can see it there on the screen. And if you're not seeing your flags on the screen after you right click and then um, put a flag in, make sure that up here up top, the little visualization of the flag is, is toggled. See? Then you're going to go ahead and establish a horizontal line. So from the origin point going across, I'm going to right click over here and rename it to dash horizontal okay so that is going to be my horizontal line origin typically is in the bottom left right and then it goes off to the horizontal now i'm going to go ahead and create a vertical up over here um, usually you just do this above the origin and what it's doing is it's placing these markers on the geometry of the object itself and so that whatever tilt this wall has um, it'll it'll adopt that tilt so it's just flat right so I'm gonna go ahead and rename this to 3 dash vertical okay so we have our three points they're all established they're all numbered we can go to workflow build ortho mosaic Make sure it's planar. Drop this down to where markers is selected. And now make sure that in the horizontal axis you have origin to horizontal and on the vertical axis it has uh, origin to vertical. And if you've done it the way that I did here, it should auto populate this way. Then you choose the rest of your parameters for the orthomosaic building and you hit OK. So it may take a little while to actually uh, generate your ortho mosaic, um, but once it is finished, over here in the top left, you should be able to click on the ortho tab and see the ortho mosaic. So this is like a map view, and it will have scale in the bottom left, um, and this allows you to zoom in and out, check the um, check your imagery, see if you have any blurry areas or not. Uh, but usually, when you do this, you're going to get a high resolution texture um, or high resolution um, image. And in my case here, um, there are some blurry photos. This was a handheld photo set that I took um, kind of in a hurry as I was at the side of Machu Picchu. Uh, but if you were using a tripod while you were doing the photo capture, this is where you actually should get a, a pretty high quality image here. So when you're doing this, you're actually it's using the entire model's mesh to create this ortho image. Uh, and my advice to you is to trim that down. And the way to do that is to go up here to this little drawing tool, draw a polygon, and decide where you want to create some boundaries. So I want to maybe start up here and then come down towards the floor and then come across and up top here. And then I'm going to close it by double clicking. All right, and so now I have a polygon. I'm going to right click that polygon, set boundary type, and I'll call it an outer boundary. This allows the computer to understand that we only want what's within this boundary here when we export. 
And so now if we wanted to export our ortho mosaic, come over here, export, um, decide where you want it. Here I'm just going to, whoops, I'm going to go ahead and export here. Um, room 2, that's generic name for this, and save. The dialog comes up, and I wanted to make sure it's clicked the, uh, the checkbox here, clip to boundary shapes, and then hit OK. And as, when it does export, it's only going to give me that image, whatever's inside here. Okay, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching.